Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey! Do you understand how much time you have lost where you could have been a baddie and walked the streets and gone out to have a cocktail? Lozo, I'm just browsing. I value my privacy, therefore I'll give you yours. Because you deserve it. But your friend's money is not your money. Do you hear my chat? Still wrong. Still gonna walk away, chat. Still gonna leave you. Because uh, 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 sleeping with somebody is not a mistake, it's a choice. Sometimes now I have some sort of pride, bro. And actually say that, you know what, I can't go to the lunch. I'm kind of uh, financially overstretched. Um, <laughs> and you're saying that you've got frozen blueberry chocolate balls. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It is me, it is I, it is Katleo Malela. As always, thank you so much for choosing to support me and choosing me every single day. I appreciate you guys so much. All of you guys, I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being here. We are doing... I didn't think that I would be having a drink in this one, but I am. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hey! Thank you so much for being here. Listen, this one is a very quick one. I'd like to think that it's going to be a very quick one because I talk a lot. I talk a lot, but I'm hoping that it's going to be a very quick one. Let's have some fun. You guys might wonder that, where do I get all these? Listen, guys, I watch a lot of social media. I watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of news. Also, at the same time, like I could be thinking of an unpopular opinion that I have in my head while I'm driving, and then I'll write it down in my list of unpopular opinions that are on my my phone and that's how I you know sometimes I'll watch a video on unpopular opinions and be like yeah yeah exactly exactly so anyway if you enjoy the content please do subscribe to the channel like the videos and if you ever feel so inclined do become a member on the membership space if you feel like it i would really appreciate that and yeah let's... the first one is going to be a simple one and i do not care come for me if you want to come for me but honestly I, we don't have enough time listen unless it is a marvel movie that is maybe even the Avengers, not all the Marvel movies, okay? If it is a Marvel movie, more specifically the Avengers, I don't understand why movies need to be three hours long. I said it. I don't understand. At the very most, let's go two hours, 2.15, 2.30. At the very most. I'm not understanding why we got to do a Jack and Rose moment where we're sitting in a theater and watching Titanic for three hours and 10 minutes. Like, I don't understand. Movies are becoming too long. Even movies that don't necessarily need to be long. You know, you could be watching a, 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 um, <clears throat> an animation movie and the, the movie is like one hour, 45 minutes for children. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I genuinely think that movies should not be longer than two hours, 2.15 at the most. Because I just feel like sometimes it's like, it's like when you're reading a book and you're like, this is unnecessary. This is unnecessary. This book didn't even need to be that long, bro. It didn't even need to be that long. But now here we are. Yo, and yes, it's on. And yes. You're sitting in a theater from two till half past five watching a movie. Do you understand how much time you have lost where you could have been a baddie and walked the streets and gone out to have a cocktail and enjoyed yourself with your friends? But here you are, you're sitting, you're watching The Avengers. Okay, The Avengers, it's fine. It's fine. I'm an Avengers fan. But some Marvel movies as well. Ah, 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 ah. The business of the movie being two hours 30. Awa, awa. We don't have time. We live in a society and a technology society where we like things quick, 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 fast. Get to the point. Ay, ay, ay. 
I'm going to talk about K-pop for a minute. And I believe and I realize that we have a lot of K-pop lovers in this country. That's cool. That's cool. But I feel like people who support K-pop idols, they, they praise them and they adore them and they give them this massive adoration and grace and praise for doing the absolute bare minimum. Even when they dance, like when we watch Usher and Chris Brown dance, we're like, oh, ah. you know what I'm saying? We're just like, oh, I wish I could dance like that. K-pop idols don't dance like that. <laughs> but they want to be given this adoration. They are given this adoration for just doing the bare minimum, for just being nice, ow, for just being nice to another female co-star or another female idol or actor or actress or whatever they are. They are given all of this wonderful adoration for just doing absolute doo of stuff. I just don't get it. And bah, bah, the fans become very, everything must be K-pop. I've never seen something like this in my life. I've never. Hey, K-pop on my phone. K-pop in your bedroom. Get the poster. The last time we did posters was come on Blackstreet Boys. You know, the last time we did posters in the bedroom. Next year, come on Blackstreet Boys. Man, next year, come on, come on, Jahim. Well, understand. Next year, in those times, but for K-pop. Hi, there's a song by Stray Kids that I actually like. I don't listen to K-pop, but there's a song that was all over TikTok and people were reviewing it. And it's by Stray Kids. I don't know what it's called. Lost Boys, Stray Boys. I don't know what it's called. But one of them came onto the song and his voice was like so deep. People went nuts. <laughs> And I was just like, are you joking? Really? He's just got a deep voice. I, 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 I make it make sense? Maybe? Ay, ay. Here I feel like K-pop. Yo, 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 yo. It's so, even my little sister is just like, do you listen to BTS? I'm like, no. It's like, well, we should listen to the song. It's called Butter. I'm like, Butter. I, it's again anyway it's jumping off of that i also think this insane adoration and praise and groveling and everything at movie stars and music stars i find it weird man i find it weird i feel like we're adoring and praising the wrong people those people are just people who are doing their job but I genuinely feel like we should be praising people like scientists and doctors and this. Like we should be giving more praise to people who find cures for cancer and this and that and the other. Why are we getting, ay, ay, yo, yo, yo. This culture of absolutely adoring and going nuts over movie stars. Awa, awa, awa. Yeah, no, I hear liking them, loving them, supporting them, all of this. But to be queuing outside of a shop because so-and-so has dropped some kind of merch and you're sitting outside of a Starbucks or outside of a shop because they've done a collaboration at four o'clock in the morning? No, I don't get it. No, I absolutely don't get it. Four o'clock in the morning. You're sitting here waiting, waiting for this shop to open so that you can buy this Stanley Cup because it's in collaboration with so... No, no. We're putting too much, too much love adoration. It's too much. It's unhealthy, man. And on the wrong people. Tell me that you're praising Elon for Tesla and what he's done with Tesla. I get it. Okay. But in Genji, ah, yeah, yeah, you guys, hey, 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 hold up, hold up. Okay, this hair is in my face. This hair is in my face, and I don't like it. This is why I barely wear wigs. But then I also like them when I have them on. Anyway, this is for all you guys who have friends. Friends, good friends, who are celebrities, 
or highly influential people, social media influencers, what, 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 and, the, and those people are making bank. They're making money. Your friend's money is not your money. Do you hear my chat? I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, I mean. Do you hear my chat? And I always laugh at these TikToks and my friend likes to send them to them, to me, send them to me. And they say that me resting and sleeping while my friend makes the money for us both. Listen, uh-uh, uh-uh. I can laugh it off because I know that with my friend and that engagement, it's a joke, man. We're, we're both making our own money. It's, that's, that's not it. But I genuinely feel like there needs to be an understanding. Your friend's money is not your money. What I must do? Maybe you can say your lover's money, your husband's money, or whatever. No. But with friends, no, guys. No, your friend's money is not your money. Go out and make your money. Your friend is sitting here, she sleeps late because she's constantly working, she's got four jobs, she's doing this, that, and the other. Meanwhile, when are you just chilling? Yeah. But you want the perks that come with being that person's friend. So you're gonna get yourself, uh, your friend's gonna get you a nice Louis Vuitton bag, your friend's gonna travel with you free of charge because they've got the money. No, your friend's money is not your money. I said it. That's going to sting some of you, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Sometimes now we have some sort of, hey, hey, Masawata. Sometimes now I have some sort of pride, bro. And actually say that, you know what, I can't go to the lunch. I'm kind of uh, financially overstretched. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't go to lunch because... I'm kind of financially overstretched and your friend might come back and say, no, Chomi, don't worry about it. It's fine. I'll pay for it. Wada, wada, wada. Maybe have some pride and some damn sense to say, no, 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 not this time. No, no, it's okay. I'm just going to sit this one out. Have some sense. Your friend can't always be the one who's pushing paper, paying bills for both of you guys to go here, getting you tickets for this, that, and the other. Your friend's money is not your money. Many of you are going to disagree with me here, but that's fine. This is unpopular opinions, but I'm going to say it. Chocolate, either melted or frozen. On, on fruits, like you know how people love to do the frozen chocolate on strawberries or melt it and then they eat it, it's nasty. I, I just... No, guys, honestly. I don't get it. I just feel like the flavors don't complement each other. I don't get it. There are people who put chocolate on banana. Make it make sense. You put chocolate on blueberries and you're saying that you've got frozen blueberry chocolate balls <laughs> they are balls aren't they yeah so you've got frozen chocolate blueberry balls ah hey hey kanime 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 please wait pour it wait no I just think it's not nice. The texture, the flavoring is not nice. The two flavors just don't complement each other. And I don't get people who do that. You know, you can add chocolate nibs to um, your oatmeal in the morning with a bit of banana or whatever. I get that chat. However, if you're adding chocolate... Oh. This is something that comes from the video that I filmed a while ago, the candidly real video, and I was talking about toxic traits. And now that I've said it and spoken about it, I can safely say it on here. Masabata, are you listening? Sbosis, you Ditebo, I'm here for you. Are you listening? People pleasing is selfish and is performative. Hey, Banna. Oh. Hey, Banna. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the unpopular opinion. The popular opinion about people pleasing, people will say, oh, people pleasers, you know, they're nice and whatever and blah, blah, blah. But no, let me, let me come for y'all, people pleasers, myself included. People pleasing is selfish and it's performative. 
It's performative. You like the feeling, right? You like the feeling that you get when people are constantly thanking you. It feeds into your ego. It feeds into some of your narcissistic traits. I said it. I didn't call you a narcissist, but traits exist even in people who are not narcissists. So you going ahead and saying you're a people pleaser and you like it and all of this, it's selfish and it's performative. Why are you people pleasing? Why are you doing it at the end of the day? If you can sit and say to yourself, or you know what, and be honest and be accountable and say to yourself that I actually do this people pleasing because I like the feeling, the ego boost that I get when people say, thank you. Oh, I love that you did this for me. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, she gave me her last hundred rand. Oh, she did this. It's selfish. It's selfish. You are feeding off of all those nice things that people are saying in a way to boost your ego. It is selfish and it's all about you. <laughs> Stop people pleasing. I'm talking to myself as well here. Stop people pleasing. Not necessary. Learn to say no. It's okay. Learn to say no. It's okay. That's Just because you have emotional intelligence, doesn't mean that your relationships will be successful. <sighs> yeah. Yes. How did I realize that? Married at first sight. Ukuto. Just because you may exhibit signs of emotional intelligence, you're aware, you're self-aware, you have the self-love, you're kind, you're considerate, whatever, will not guarantee that your relationships will be successful. Just because when I uh, miss the emotional intelligent, you know, no. <sighs> this is all I got. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. Does not in any way, shape or form guarantee the success of your relationships, whether they're platonic or whether they're intimate. Just because you have emotional intelligence doesn't mean hurry. And you can also, let me add into that, you can have emotional intelligence, but not be a nice person. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're sitting here thinking, oh, no, when are you emotionally intelligent? You understand, you are aware of how what you say makes the other, how you say something, how it makes the other person feel. So therefore you choose your words wisely. Therefore you know this, this, this. Therefore you know that when you react this way, it's because of certain triggers and whatever. You may be emotionally intelligent. That is facts. But it doesn't guarantee you good your, your relationship will survive, much less thrive. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. Slung yeles. Kichelo. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, phone elam zwake. I was telling Mzwake about this yesterday. Yesterday. Nickel solim zwake. I was if you are a Mac employee. Mac employees are not, let me not say they're not nice people. Mac employees are by far some of the more judgier people, mean, just standoffish, just but snacks, Mac employees. And I say this with a big pinch of salt because some people are nice, okay? But in all the Mac stores that I have walked in, they're either mean, they have a mean mug on their face, they don't come up to you and ask you, is there anything that I can help you with? Very rarely has somebody ever done that. And more than anything, even if you walk into the store without makeup on, because some of us love to roam the streets without makeup on. We just wear makeup when we're working or when we're attending or going on dates or whatever, attending functions, events, that kind of thing. But otherwise, we are perfectly capable of running the streets without makeup on. Mac employees, I have walked into Mac stores so many times 
to pick up a foundation, to pick up Fix Plus, to pick up some glosses or some, my favorite retro matte lipsticks and stuff like that. And let me tell you. <laughs> I... <laughs> and that time they are so judgy. And when I say they're judgy, they look you up and down. Uh, this one doesn't look like she's got money. Lozo Jai, I'm just browsing. Just because I walk into the Mac store and I'm wearing my vans and I'm wearing my tracksuit sets and whatever, and I walk into the Mac store wearing those things, they don't address you. They say nothing. They sit, they look at you. In fact, you're the one who greets them. In most of the Mac stores that I've been in, this is the culture. I don't know if they go to school for it. If when they're in training school or whatever, they tell them, you don't have to smile, you don't have to kiki, you don't have to whatever. I'm sorry, I can't be the only one who's experienced this, right? Am I the only one who's experienced this? I cannot be the only one. Ah, nah, I, 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 I. Mm -mm. Here's another thing. Keep your friends in a hierarchy of intimacy. You need to understand what I'm saying here, okay? Keep your friends in a hierarchy of intimacy. There's certain things that you can tell one friend that you can't tell the other friend because some friends are not good people and sometimes misery loves company. So if you're going to sit here and talk about the bad things that are happening or that are going on in your relationship, one friend will be supportive, listen, objective, blah, 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 eh, eh, eh. The other friend will be like, I don't even know why you're with him. You don't need to hear things like that from your friend. You don't need to hear things like that from your friends. Keep certain friends in a hierarchy of closeness. Let them grow so you can see that, okay, okay, I like that when I tell this one, this one thing, she understands, she's hearing it, she doesn't judge me, I don't feel judged, I don't feel like every time I come up to my friend and I tell her something, she's going to judge me or she's going to be mean towards me about A, B, C, Z. I don't feel it with this one, but with this one, I feel some type of way when I say certain things and whatever, keep them in a hierarchy of intimacy. You don't have to tell your friends everything. Yes. And this is a mistake that I used to do a lot. I would tell my very close friends everything. I don't go around telling my close friends about my relationship. I don't go around telling them all the intimate details about what's going on in my relationship or my family life. In actual fact, with my family life, I don't. I don't tell them nothing. You understand? So sometimes you need to know when to draw the line and how to keep them on a level on levels of hierarchy. You will learn. Bahozi, but I some solo. You will learn. This one's gonna make a little bit of some of you mad. And I love it for us. So here's the thing: body count is not necessary in a relationship. To know, to know. Langut. To know what your partner's body count is, is not necessary in a relationship. Body count is not necessary in a relationship. Let's go out of here. Ah, what a fun, man. Ah, eh. Oh, what? I know, little quarter. No, I know you're going to be upset. Why, Kato? I would like to know if my man has slept with over 50 people. Why? What is it going to do for you? once you find that information out. Girl, shut up. You are making things worse. What is it going to do? Are you gonna walk away? Because now that they've slept with 50 people, even though you love them and then you see that this is the love of your life and this and that and the other, are you gonna walk away? What is it going to do for the relationship for you to know how many people this person has bazanga zangat and zanga zangat with? What is it going to do for you? Hmm? All you need to know is their sexual health, their status. You need to check body STD panels. 
a unit check, a gazettery, you understand? You need to check, you need to check, all those things. Those are the things that you need to get in check. But to know the body count of that person, no, it's not necessary. No, 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's not necessary. And I, let me tell you why. It is because it's not gonna do anything for you to know that information more than anything if your partner comes back and tells you that they've slept with over a hundred people, that's going to hurt you. And then, Ototza Maya, Ototza Lemo, to all in sharp. Osnang nja, osnang kaat, di tebo. Ototza Lemo, telling sharp, 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 yo. Alona la por. Ototza Lemo, telling sharp, for nothing. For nothing. Why is it necessary for you to know? It's not going to do anything to change the relationship unless you are so bothered that that person has slept with over 50 people that no, you, you, nah, I can't do this, then leave then. But then know that there are chances that you are walking out on what could have been a solid relationship. It's not going to do anything for you. All you'd need to say is that, oh, 50, curl, er, er, what I'm going to do is third, I'm going to book. I, I'm going to book for us to go do some tests. I, I'm going to book for us to do STD panels. Um, and we're going to go together and we're going to sort it out. Finish! Finish! That's all. That, that, is, that is all you need to concern yourself with. Come on to a how. Body count? Nah. Nah. Let me tell you something. Emotional affairs are just as bad, if not worse, than physical affairs. Are you listening to my chat? Emotional affairs. Do you understand the pain I would feel knowing that my partner has connected emotionally with somebody outside of our relationship than it having been a one night stand where it was a physical I, I would still be hurt with both of them I would I would but to know that he connected emotionally or she <laughs> that he or she connected emotionally more with that person than they do with me I would be devastated Devastated. He's telling her, or she's telling her about the, uh, the, the um, uh, uh, his work situation, his family situation, how he feels about me. How did a year devastation galore? Never. Mm -mm. Emotional relationships hurt even more than physical ones. If somebody says I got drunk and whatever, it's still wrong. I'm still gonna walk away, child. I'm still gonna leave you because uh, 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 sleeping with somebody is not a mistake. It's a choice. It's a choice. Still gonna leave you. However, knowing that you connected with somebody emotionally, the stuff that's reserved for you and I, damn it. And for Saz. That stuff stings. Um, and I think maybe I'll wrap it up here. Oh, we'll do one more. Crying on camera is weird. And hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. I've cried on camera before. I did a video where I was talking about GBV and I was, I was talking about my experience with GBV, ne? Sharp. When I started the video, when I switched my camera on and I started it, I was talking, period, point blank. And then I was talking, slowly talking, and then I reached critical parts of the video where I was talking about the pain that that person inflicted on me physically. Then I cried. That is different. But to then be like crying. Uh, 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 uh,
Stop. Hai bu. I just find it weird. I just find it weird. I do. The moment you just switch it on and then you're crying and then you switch it off. I But if you're talking and you're relating a story and maybe it's a 10 minute long TikTok video and you start the the story proper. You're not crying, you're not doing anything. You just start the story proper, sharp, grand sharp. Crawl. And then you start crying. That's fine. That's okay. But to click play then cry then click record then cry then stop ah why well, I, i just find that weird i do i do i personally find that weird it is what it is i prefer to be left alone in clothing stores i hate it when people you walk into the store hello hi how are you and then you're like ah oh, hi the good thank you i've just walked in i've just walked in i haven't seen anything Is there anything I can help you with today? Oh no no no, I'm just browsing. Oh okay, no sure. Then instead of stepping back, now you're browsing with me. Now you're like you're like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You 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 less than a meter away. I turn this corner, you're turning it with me. I turn that corner, you turn. Yeah, the thing drives me nuts. Ah, what a far no man. Ah eh. Oh what? And that's the one thing that will make me stop buying something. Even though I have the money to buy it, even though that was the plan for me to come into the store and buy it, but if you are going to watch me like a hawk and make me feel like I'm about to 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 steal something or whatever, I hate it. Yo, please don't do that, guys. If you know somebody who who works in a clothing store and I've realized that Even with my dad, he hates it as well. My father hates that thing. Let the person browse. Be over there while I browse. And if I need you, I will call for you. I will. I'll say, "Eh, aus Palesa. Schau mal schon. Schau mal. Da mo. Da mo Technika. Da mo. Ja, man. Ja, man. If you know, you know. <laughs> Then aus Palesa will come. And then I'll ask our sponsor, do you have a size medium or a large in this? That's fine. But you walking around the whole store with me because now what I was say, ah, eh, mfe chansi, mfe chansi, urke shebe. Going through your partner's phone or even asking to go through your partner's phone is not normal. I it's not. I'm sorry. Many of you are going to disagree with me here, but I don't think it's normal. I value my privacy. I value my privacy. And if you now want to go through my phone, it's an indication, you understand? It's an indication Yahuru, you don't trust me. I don't find it normal for somebody to go through the partner's phone. Now. Yeah, this is what I want. Uh, that I have said third. Now that I've said third, If my partner gives me his phone and says no look through this what what that conversation what what and then tatam something drops down I am going to see it and then we're going to have a fight or then I see something that is irregular you gave me the phone it's in my hand I'm looking at it I'm not going to go out of TikTok and then go into your messages I'm not going to do that I'm not going to go out of this and go into your emails I'm not going to do that I value my privacy therefore I'll give you yours because you deserve it but but birth okay birth if something comes up while we are both looking at it because i'm perfectly fine with you sitting right here and we're looking at it together but if something shows up and we both see it and you know i've seen it good luck to you <laughs> i'm going to wrap it up here i hope you guys enjoyed this video that said i'm done for the day i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please like the video watch all the ads play it again 
if you haven't watched the ads, play it again. It really does go a long way to helping me continue to create the content that I create for you guys. I'm going to go now. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you for choosing me as always over and over again. Subscribe, join the membership space if you care, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara. Don't go through your partner's phone. Don't. Dictable.